Good instructional goals are clear, concise, and have observable outcomes. Step one is to articulate who the learners are. That is, who is it that will be participating in the training? Step two is to articulate what you want the learners to be able to do after they've completed the instruction. Step three is to articulate the context in which the skills will be performed. What is important here is that you're not specifying what the learners will do in the classroom. Rather, you specify what you want them to do once they have completed the training. And step four is to articulate any tools the learner will have in the performance context. There's no point in teaching someone how to do something using specialized tools if they won't have access to the specialized tools in the performance context. In summary, step one, learner, step two, skill, step three, context, and step four, tools. For example, beginner instructional designers will be able to write observable instructional goals at their home offices with pencil and paper.